Five broken cameras tells the story of the Palestinian village of Bilin and its long struggle against Israel's separation wall. For years, there have been weekly protests in Berlin, demanding the route of the wall be changed and the land returned to its Palestinian owners. Imad Bonat filmed life in the village for five years. He had to replace his camera every year. They were broken when the Israeli army attacked demonstrators. Now Bernard is hoping his film will win an Oscar. He told the story through his son, Gabriel, and he's now with him in Los Angeles. My goal is to reach the people and to, to bring more attention to, to my situation, to our life, to, to my, kid, my kid and his generation life and how they grow up there under this, these pressures and under the, the occupation, under the, the army control. The demonstrations aren't as large or as violent as they were before. The protests have moved to different villages and other forms of demonstration. But still, every Friday, people in Berlin gather to march against the Israeli occupation. The Israeli film nominated for an Academy Award for Best Documentary is The Gatekeepers. It interviews the last six leaders of Shin Bet, Israel's internal security service that deals with the Palestinians. It's astonishing these men agreed to the film. I think when I approached them, I said, I, th I saw the importance of the message that they will carry out. And I think that it was also important for me that the message will come from them. The center of the Israeli defense establishment saying in a loud and clear voice, enough with the occupation. The film covers the history of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict since the 1967 war, but through the eyes of the men with the job of enforcing the occupation. The Shin Bet chiefs discuss the policy of assassination and state security. They talk about Palestinian resistance, arrests and detentions. These two films on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict are told from completely different perspectives. But perhaps surprisingly, they come to a similar conclusion. The longer the Israeli occupation continues, the more both sides will continue to suffer. Nicole Johnston, Al Jazeera, Berlin, in the occupied West Bank.